Good afternoon, it's uh... It's about time... <clears throat> it's about time we uh... Had constructive new ways to direct our taxation. Rich and poor alike. Space lottery. Which won't quite be like a lottery ticket. Yet it will in a few ways. Uh, it'll be based on a perhaps a a co-op corporate structure. Um, anyhow, I'll just lay it out. Instead of going and buying my 649 uh, once a week for that faint hope clause, um, when I spend that same one dollar or five dollar ticket or whatever you were gonna buy on a space lottery a space co-op lottery um, done up all in such a way that what you're actually doing is is not buying a lottery ticket you're buying a one dollar share in the space co-op Once a week, a draw. You can either have a million dollars, the winner, like like a uh, shareholders uh, jackpot, if you will. Just or if you don't want the million, you can have a chance to send your genes to the nearest star. that life's found suitable long, long term um, so I didn't win here's my one dollar lottery ticket well that's okay because it's not a lottery ticket it's actually a shareholder stock certificate or the legal equivalent so what I've got for my dollar is my share in the corporation whether we're selling any technology that comes out of this space lottery co-op or some of the proceeds from mining the nearest asteroids. The ultimate goal, send a ship to another star system for exploration, sending back data. And on that starship, equip it in such a way that it can take frozen life, uh, as in, like we do with in vitro fertilization, you know, egg and sperm frozen, and you mix them together when you thaw them out. <clears throat> a lot easier to take a milligram, a few milligrams in standard animation than to try and take a thousand or ten or even one person. Run by robots. Now it's actually meant to go and we pick out our, our star systems, we get this puppy up to light speed and as it's going by <clears throat> You don't try and slow it down again. Shoot out probes to go and check out everything in that solar system. And if there's a promise, well, you've got these these humans in waiting. You can robot it. Ships run by robots, and that's when you can bring the life together, like an arc ship. When a suitable habitat is found. So it, it's not so important if it takes a hundred years or a thousand years to visit all the potential life-bearing star systems in our neighborhood. That's the long-term prize. Continuance of species by spreading out.
or a better chance at it than we got just sitting here until we can't afford any kind of enterprise whatsoever because all our resources are depleted. Okay, now we're not taking stuff from Earth to do this, well, to get it started, but they'll be returned. Everything we need to travel to the stars and the knowledge to get there, which is coincidentally the same knowledge to enhance your survival at a Star Trek level, it's out there in our solar system waiting. Whether it's helium-3 on the moon or or stainless steel asteroids out a little further. We can get there, but not without the first fuel, and that's mass funding. Ain't never gonna happen, not with any government that's gonna representative democracy that's that's come about so far let's let's find a way to direct our taxations when we've done that we'll have a system that will take over this new world order and be the final world order one where no no it's all done democratically a real democracy not representative democracy where I a bunch of people are forced to sign their authority over to one or two or a choice of three maybe to represent them, their wishes and their needs. We all know that's not natural. Well, um, even if only by voting, whether this has any appeal to you, or write a thorough comment. Let's throw this idea around and see if we can't move along now. After all, we all know what happens if you just do nothing.